Just over a month away until the Formula One Las Vegas Grand Prix roars back into town. And if you've been anywhere <laughs> around the strip lately, you know the setup is well underway. A lot of complaints from a lot mm -hmm. of local people, including those businesses. And, you know, you were talking about that construction it includes that temporary bridge at Flamingo in Colval. That's a project that has already led to a handful of lawsuits from businesses who say people can't get into their businesses. News Reads Denise Ross joins us live from there now in that intersection. Behind you there, it's been closed all week for that bridge installation. Yeah, Dana, Flamingo at Koval should reopen by about 9 o'clock tomorrow night. But for now, you can see that cars right here are being rerouted. A lot of work being done out here this week as the temporary bridge goes up. According to a spokesperson for F1, changes were made this year to make it easier on nearby business owners. But the owners that I talked to aren't convinced. How does it continue to happen? I don't, I just don't understand it. Wade Bond says it's what you don't see that worries him. Here at the corner of Flamingo and Koval, the gas pumps at his convenience store, Jay's Market, sit empty. Business down 65% this week alone. All because of what you do see. The return of the F1 temporary bridge, passing directly in front of his property. We've dealt with these guys for over a year and um, they say they have communication with us. They don't have communication with us. They tell us what they're going to do and we have to live with it. That's the kind of communication. There's we no back and forth. No. Bond says last year his store lost three and a half million dollars because of the bridge. Access was limited to not only his store, but several others in the area. At least five of his neighbors have already filed lawsuits. Bond says he used to have 12 employees on staff. Now there are five. The theft has gone up inside because he can't ring up, people come in still. So it's uh, it's kind of a snowball effect. Gonna be a bit tight coming into the first corner. F1 returns to the strip November 21st through the 23rd. Drivers racing past some of the most iconic landmarks in the state. But setup does bring traffic delays. Lori Nelson Kraft is senior vice president of corporate affairs with F1, who says when it comes to the Flamingo Bridge, concessions were made. We um, have taken that bridge from last year from four lanes down to two, which will allow greater access to be maintained into all those businesses. And during the week of installation, um, we have communicated with reader boards um, throughout the area to inform local residents of access points to get in and around. Yeah, we're like, what the heck's going on? Connie Benson is visiting from Virginia and says the detours have been challenging. Our taxi from the airport, she had to do a detour and she took a crossroad and came back the other way to get through the light because it was taking so long. As for Bond, It doesn't make sense, the chaos that is caused for an hour and a half race once a year. He has not filed his own lawsuit yet, but says it could be coming soon. Maybe this year I will only lose a couple million dollars instead of more than I did last year. I mean, it, I'm still gonna lose money. So I don't know how it's better for me. Now, last year's F1 is considered the biggest sporting event in Las Vegas history, even bigger than the Super Bowl. As for this bridge, it will come down the week of December 16th. I'm told that crews had to work that schedule around other events in town, including the National Finals Rodeo that is also in December. Reporting live, Denise Roche for News 3. Let's go back to you in the studio. Most of those casinos in that neighborhood, they saw an economic boom yes. from the race, but for other businesses, not so much. Denise, thank you.